She asked me to take my shoes off and asked me if I have any shocks on. Lady, it's minus 16 outside. Yes, I'm wearing socks. <laughs> Minus 16 degrees outside and my morning would be so much better if it was warmer. See? Anyway, uh, I'm in my sister's car actually because my own car, the battery in my car died and the repair person has been waiting for the temperature to rise a little bit before he attempts to restart the car there's probably something more wrong than just the battery because I bought the battery a year ago and now even after longer trips the battery did not recharge there is no sound whatsoever when I try to start it but I'm now going to see my occupational physiotherapist about my leg I haven't been able to run in over a month and sometimes even walking is kind of painful my shoes off and asked me if I have any shocks on. Lady, it's minus 16 outside. Yes, I'm wearing socks. I got a bunch of new exercises for my foot and my leg. I bought this balance board at the recommendation of my physiotherapist. Let's see. Oh, my socks are so slippery. Maybe I need shoes to do this, like my gym shoes. Oh, oh. Uh-oh. There we go. Oh. So other than that silliness, I have some exercises to stretch my shins, my calves. She also recommended that I put water in a bottle, put it in the freezer, let it freeze, take it out and use it to roll my shins. Of course, put some cloth in between like a towel or something if not wearing, you know, pants. <laughs> but that's about it. I'm just really bummed because it's been over a month and my shin does not seem to get any better. Like, um, Almost a week ago now, I was walking for about 20 minutes back and forth um, from home to the city. Uh, obviously because my car is not working, because my car is dead. But my shin got so much worse that for two out of three night shifts, I was walking with my right foot doing this slap, slapping sound like it was not working properly so I don't know what the hell is going on and I just miss running but since treadmill running is supposedly worse than running outdoors I'm gonna have to wait for a little while for the snow and ice to melt away um, it does not look so good with minus 16 it's already March, I just want the spring to come after the long and dark depressing winter. I want the temperature to rise, I want to hear the birds chirping. You know, the spring is time of new hope and um, I need new hope right now. I need to know that my I-140 petition will be filed again. I mean, I know it will be filed, but I want to know that it has happened and I want to know that my case is moving on and I want to know that my dream is you know coming closer and closer I'm trying to stay positive 
I almost forgot something, so I need to run to the corner store real quick. So as far as I can tell, the idea is to eat this bad boy. I'm going to challenge three people. Number one, Desi Nosa. Number two, Asad Kesarwani. And number three, Queen Assessa. Check the link in the description box to join this movement that the Lemons for Leukemia started. So I just called my local police department because yesterday I received these FD258 forms for my fingerprint background check uh, that is now required when you hold a Colorado license. So um, I was expecting this to be especially difficult here in Finland because we only do electronic fingerprinting and now they want uh, ink and roll fingerprints. Someone from Avon suggested that uh, the fingerprints can be taken electronically and then printed onto the cards but because this is not a finished form not recognized here, it would be incredibly difficult, if not impossible, to um, print my fingerprints on an actual form that has specific boxes for each fingerprint. Anyway, the person who answered the call at the police department told me that they have tightened their policy towards fingerprinting because they don't have the resources for it, they don't want people to come there. So he said, um, explain your situation to me in an email and I'll take it to my chief and the decision will be made on a case-by-case -case basis. He'll get back to me by the end of the week whether or not they'll take my fingerprints. I'm in this position where I have the police department not willing to take my fingerprints. There's no other authority that I can turn to uh, in Finland and as far as I understood, I'll lose my license if I don't fulfill the requirement within six months because sending the background affidavit will allow me to have a temporary license for six months. But what happens after that? I'm thinking because my I-140 petition should be refiled this month. And as I said in my timeline video, I should be able to travel to US in like January or February next year. And that's way beyond six months. So, I mean, should I travel to the US? Will the immigration department give me the green light to go to the US? There's a lot of questions and I'm a bit concerned. I mean, I trust that there will always be a solution, but still, I'm a little bit concerned. So I'm just writing an email to Avant about what I should do and... Hopefully they'll get back to me. Today is my second day off and I'm going to meet with a friend and my sister. With my sister, we'll go to a sauna. I haven't been to a sauna in years. I mean, with my sister last fall, was it fall? Maybe, maybe around Christmas. But other than that, it's been years since I've been to a sauna. And here's a fun fact for you. There are about 5.6 million people in Finland 
but there are over 2 million saunas in the entire country. Think about that. So I just managed to send that email to Avant about my fingerprinting issues, giving them a heads up. Uh, like 10 minutes later, I got a phone call from the police chief or whatever. He said the Finnish police won't take my fingerprints because it's, uh, it has nothing to do with Finland, but the US. Uh, he said the US authorities should take care of their own business. Um, so, I'm stuck. I don't know what to do. So there's gonna be an awkward gap in my vlog. It's so slippery. Because uh, my friend did not want to be filmed and my sister took a rain check with me. And my sister took a rain check with me with the sauna. Um, so I'm now walking to the train station. I'm gonna take a train home, get warmed up. It's so freezing here. It's only minus six, but the wind is making it so much worse. This is actually the infamous train station where my bike got stolen um, one and a half years ago. I was really bummed about it because it was a expensive bike. Um, I found my, um, what's it called, security lock by the bank near the river and so I knew it had to be someone looking to buy drugs that had stolen my bike. And that's when I gave up hope of ever finding it.